What's up guys, Elf is here, and today we're doing another Han Tips. Uh, tune a day, it'll be good stuff. Uh, this one is going to be on ganking as mid. Okay, now the first thing I want to cover when talking about ganking as mid is the fact that not every hero ganks, okay, or should gank rather. All of them can gank, I guess, potentially, but not all of them should. And I'll, I'll talk about why and give you a few examples of them in a sec. So, so what I mean by that is that I know in low tier games, those of you who play in the 1500s probably, if you pick a hero, you want to call mid, you call mid, you go mid, uh, I can almost guarantee you pretty much everybody on your team, if you don't gank, will rage at you and call you a bad player. They are not right, necessarily, okay? I mean, you may be a bad player, but not just because you're not ganking, okay? Certain heroes should not gank, even though they go mid, because that's, that's one of their best places to go. They should not gank, though, because they are not as adept at it as other heroes, and because their time can be better spent doing other things. Now I'll give you a couple examples. Firstly, I picked this video for a reason, Soul Stealer, although you guys just saw this video the other day of his gameplay, he's actually a fantastic example of this, uh, and actually if you'll notice in the gameplay video, which you can watch, um, I didn't gank, I don't think I ganked at all, I might have ganked a little bit uh, early on if I got a nice rune, or if I pushed a tower, uh, although I don't think I pushed the tower too too early. So, um, so why is Soul Stealer not an example? And before I go into that, a good example. And before I go into that, I'll just list a couple others. Uh, Zephyr is a good example of another one. Um, Scout can do okay at ganking, although not fantastically. If you're going to play Scout mid, um, let's see. There, there's there's others. The list goes on and on. If you guys want more, I can list them. Ask me in the comments, and I'll let you guys know of a couple others. Um, but why are they not good gankers? Well, Soul Stealer and Zephyr in particular are not good gankers because a they're incredibly adept, incredibly powerful farmers, uh, and their ganking potential is just not there because their farming potential is much, much, much higher, okay? So I'm not necessarily saying the hero can't gank. What I'm saying is that they are much better at something else. Their time is much better spent doing something else rather than ganking, okay? Now, the other thing I will say is another really, and probably even a more important reason as to why they're not a good ganker is because they, those two heroes, Zephyr has some, but, but typically, Zephyr is a good ganker once he hits six, typically, but before that he's kind of, he's really weak, um, but, uh, they're, they're, one of the reasons they're not that good at heroes for ganking is because of the fact that they lack crowd control. Heroes like Pebbles, like Rampage, like Rally, all these heroes that are typically, you know, I mean, I guess Rally not as much, and maybe not Rampage as much, but they, they can be played as mid-heroes, and they're typically gankers when they're played as mid-heroes, you know, things like that. Uh, they are really good gankers because they have a lot of crowd control to lock down the enemy, okay? And it works out really well, uh, and Pebbles and those guys also have a decent amount of damage once they get levels 2, which is the reason they go mid as opposed to just going side lane and then roaming. So, in, the, in that sense, Soul Stealer and Zephyr lack quite a bit, and there are other heroes too. The reason I listed Scout, his ultimate has a little bit of crowd control, but other than that, uh, he has the silence, but that's not uh, movement impairing crowd control. So, other than that, he's really lacking in the crowd control area as well. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean these heroes can't gank, but what it does mean is that they're probably better off spending their time doing something else, uh, such as farming the lane, pushing the lane. Uh, both, by the way, Zephyr and Soul Stealer both are fantastic pushers, uh, two of the strongest pushers and farmers in the game. I would say, uh, Zephyr with his tornadoes can just, he can push a tower in, you know, five to eight minutes easily, probably. So, in that sense, their time could be much better spent doing something else, okay? Now, what I will say, that's, that's, that's to tell you who should be ganking, who shouldn't be ganking. You shouldn't necessarily be ganking if you're missing a lot of crowd control, if you're a really good farm carry, things like that. Now, what I will say about ganking, the actual tips for ganking, what I will say is, A, you want to push up your lane as much as you can when you're going to gank, because then it gives the enemy hero less vision, so they have less of a chance of calling you uh, missing. If they can't see a lot of their lane, odds are they might not call the missing right away, okay? So it gives that. It also gives the enemy less map vision. They maybe won't necessarily see you walking past in the river. The other thing that you want to try and do when you're ganking is try and make sure you're not uh, walking past a ward. So if you don't know if they have a ward or not, you can walk past the, you know, the normal... Uh, I'll just, I'll mouse out the normal routes here, you know, like this way you can walk through this area, kind of, or, you know, up through the river, and then maybe up this way, or, or through this river this way. You can do that if you don't know if they have a ward. If you know if they have a ward, avoid those locations. Walk around them. Taking the long way around is definitely worth it to avoid a ward if you're trying to gank. If you walk right past a ward, there's basically zero point in ganking, because there's, as long as they're not 
you know, incompetent, there's no way that gank is going to be successful. So make sure you avoid ward locations if you know there's a ward there. If you don't know there's a ward there, sometimes it's worth walking past it just to figure out if there's a ward there. You know what I mean? So even if you even if you have a hunch that there's probably a ward there, sometimes walking past it is worth it. Sometimes getting the information that there is a ward there is worth the the fact that your gank maybe wasn't successful. Not always, but in certain cases. So those are the tips in that sense. The only other thing I will say is make sure you coordinate with your team. Make sure your team knows you're coming. Sometimes people don't necessarily have the best map awareness, so, you know, ping it once or twice, you know, send a message, something like that. Make sure they know you're coming. Uh, and then finally, the last piece of advice I have, and actually you'll note my team's coming here. In team chat, they were actually telling me they're coming. So that's another thing. You know, make sure your team knows you're coming. That applies for ganking mid or side lanes. Uh, and then the final piece of tip I want to give, uh, the final tip, piece of advice I want to give is uh, try and get a strong uh, ganking rune when you're going to gank as mid, okay? I'll give you the two strongest runes in the game. Sorry, three strongest runes, I guess, because when it comes to ganking, they're all kind of top tier. Uh, invisibility, haste, and double damage. The three strongest ganking runes in the game. Uh, debatably, double damage isn't necessarily as good for ganking as the other two, but uh, it's still pretty... I'd, st I'd still say it's pretty high up there when it comes to, you know, its usefulness uh, when it comes to ganking. But, so, th those are the three strongest runes in the game. If you see them, you know, and actually, that's the reason. If I was Soul Stealer, if I got a haste rune at level 4, I might actually, I would probably, I don't know if I'd probably gank. I might just bottle it and save it until 6-ish, uh, and that might be nice, because then I could come up with my ulti. Um, or, you know, just stronger demon hands, actually, because I maybe necessarily wouldn't put a point in my ulti that early. But, so, if you have good runes like that, even heroes that aren't necessarily strong gankers, can gank early very, very effectively, uh, and heroes that are strong gankers can gank, gank 10 times more effectively. So try and get the runes at all cost to to do that, you know what I mean? So they're very, very, very important, I will say. That's that's one of the most important things when it comes to ganking, is making is trying to get the powerful runes to gank, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any uh, questions, concerns, comments, uh, send them down below. If you have... Um, request things you want to see a tip on you know what i mean things that you're you've been having trouble with the game and you're like wow i this is kind of tough uh, how does he do it is uh, you know is he any good at it and maybe he can help me send those down below too let me know if you're having problems with i don't know if you're having problems with knowing whether or not you should tp if you're having problems with uh i don't know knowing the first time you should get a tp things these are just examples of things maybe you guys might be having trouble with so let me know down below if you are and i will be sure to cover those uh so thank you guys for watching uh, also, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to chat with me or know when I'm playing that kind of stuff uh, at Elphis Arc, uh, capital A R C at the end, uh, and just Elphis, capital E L F I S, uh, and then capital A R C, the R C is lowercase. But thank you guys. Follow me on Twitter. I'll talk to you guys later. GG, well played, guys, and Elphis out.